um, I've picked a few questions that I think might um, be worth going through. So question six, draw and label arrows to estimate the position of the fractions on the number line. So estimate is just a bit like a guess. So it doesn't have to be exactly precise. You're just taking a guess, a sensible guess as to where you think um, they'd go on the number lines. So if we have got, let me just get my pencil. Okay, so we know that one whole, we, we're learning about tenths today, so everything is tenths. So we know that one whole has to be the same as ten, ten tenths. So if we double that, what would it be? Our numerator would always stay the same, so these will always be ten. But if we had ten and we doubled it, what number would we have? We would have 20. So 20 tenths is the same as 2. So we can tick off our 20 tenths because that is exactly the same. So we now know that 10 tenths is here and 20 tenths is here and we need to find 5 tenths, somewhere to put 5 tenths and somewhere to put 15 tenths. So if we were just counting normally up to 20 and we did this in fives, it would go 5, 10, 15, 20. So based on our, on our good knowledge of our five times tables, we can plot these two where we think they would go. So between 0 and 10, we know that in the middle must come 5. So somewhere between 0 and 10 tenths, or one whole, there has to be 5 tenths. And that's going to go here. So 5 tenths. So now we've got, we've got our 5, 10. Now we need to plot 15. So that's going to go in between our 10 and our 20 because we know our five times tables 5, 10, 15, 20. So 15 tenths has to go somewhere around here. So that is going to be my 15 tenths. So plotted that one and I've also drawn and labelled that one on my. Um, number line. So now we're still working with tenths and so we know that this here is going to still be 10 tenths because it is up here and one whole is the same as 10 tenths. So I'm going to label this 10 tenths and therefore I know that this one 2 that's going to be the same as 20 tenths because I've already worked that out in question A. And now I need to plot these ones here. So now I'm going to look at my numerator. So I've got the number three and that is my lowest one. So on a normal number line between zero and ten, I know that three is going to go quite close to zero. So I might have one, two, three. So I'm going to plot my three tenths here because on a num on a normal number line that is where I would find my number three around here. Remember it's just an estimate so it's just a guess as to where you think it would be. It doesn't have to be exactly right. So that's my three tenths. Now I'm on to eleven tenths. If this is ten tenths I know that eleven comes after the number ten so that must mean that eleven tenths must be here. So that's that one done. And then my last one is 19. So I've got 10, 11. I could count up in my ones now until I get to 19. So I could go 10, 11, 12, 13, 14, 15, 16, 17, 18, 19 and go there. Or I could use my super math knowledge and know that 19 is one less than 20. If this is 20 here, 19 has to be pretty close. So I'm going to plot my 19 tenths just here. And then I can tick it off 
so that I know that I've done. Okay, so this one, we're always used to seeing these, Dean, so it might be a little bit tricky because this time they're asking us as fractions. So remember that we've been doing tenths today. So one whole, that must be the same as ten tenths because that is a whole. So, oh, let me just read that. Um, so we need to work out then what all of these are so today we've been learning about 10 so we know that the denominator has to be 10 for all of them that's really the easiest way to sort it so all of these have to have a, a denominator of 10 so how many tens do we have then we have got one two three four four lots of ten so that is representing four tenths how many do we have here ten 20, 21, 22. So that's 22 tenths. And then in this one, we've got 10, and these sticks are going to count as um, of 1 tenth. So um, 10, 11, 12, 13, 14, 15. So that is 15 tenths. Last question then, question 8. Whitney is thinking of a fraction. My fraction is more than one whole, but less than two. My fraction has an odd number as the numerator. What could Whitney's fraction be? List all of the possible fractions. So from the video, I have taken um, the representation that they showed us. So Whitney says that her fraction um, is more than one whole. So that means it has to be more than this one here so we can get rid of all of these we don't need to look at this side we can cross that off it won't be any of them um, but less than two so that's great so we've got this section up till here basically we've got here to look at um, my fraction has an odd n number as the numerator so that's the top number so now we can cancel out any even or actually we could just circle any odd numbers so we've got 11 13, 15, 17, or 19. So the only possible ones that it could be are the ones that I have uh, the ones I have circled. So these are the only ones that have an odd number as the numerator. They are more than one whole, but less than two. So there's only one, two, three, four, five, five possible answers.